Ivan Katz here at Burke Lake Park in Fairfax, Virginia. I've given you many videos on which disc is best for the forehand flick. Recently I've given you some videos on which discs you should definitely have in your bag like the Wraith, the Valkyrie, and the Destroyer. Check out all of those videos. But today I'm going to do a tutorial on playing this 18 hole course and show you which discs I use and how I throw them. Let's get started. Number one here at Burke Lake Park, it's 146 feet. You can throw it kind of straight. You've got to get around this big tree right here. And you can do that by going on the left-hand side, which is probably what I'm going to do with this Viking. Now, I've never done a video with the Viking, but I should. A friend of mine shoots with the Viking recently. He's never had a hole-in-one. He got his first hole-in-one after playing the sport for like 10 years with this disc. It did change his game and he is a backhand shooter. So this one has good glide and it actually will throw very straight. Of course, it will turn a little bit too. If you give it some hyzer here, it'll turn right. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. Just a little right turn, try to go straight at the basket. Cool. Okay, that's a pretty good result. About 12 to 15 feet from the basket. Could have gotten a nice skip ace, but oh well. Try to get a birdie out of it with this 86 putter here. So there you go, the Viking and the 86 putter. Easy birdie here on number one. Number two here is tough because you have an extreme dog leg to the left there and that's very tough for a flick. But let's see if I can make it happen. Now it's really difficult to get the disc to turn left, but this Leopard is actually very good at it, the forehand flicker. So let's see if I can make that happen. So the Leopard, great disc, turn left for the flick. Very hard to make a flick do that, and the Leopard does it well. Here we are, the 86 putter. I can barely see the basket now, but I'm just gonna try to line around there with my 86 putter, and see if I can get it on in there. This is a beautiful course with the water features and number three here at Burke Lake is a really nice challenge. You've got these trees right in the middle, but basically it's a pretty open shot, but that one tree in the middle is a problem. I'm probably gonna go to the left of that tree and curve around to the right. I think this one will be good for the Starlight Boss. Turns right pretty well. I'm gonna throw it with a bit of hyzer. Tends to hyzer flip and basically gets straight before it then turns right again. So it should get me down pretty straight and then turn just a little bit right at the end. Perfect for this one. Should be close to a drop in. Nice. Well, not quite a drop in, but probably like 11 or 12 feet. So pretty easy nonetheless. Fiber summit, but approach. Okay, as you see right behind me, 157 feet here at number four. And most people say, hey, why don't you throw a putter? And I will. I'll throw the Vibram Summit putt approach. And you can throw it with a little bit of hyzer. It'll straighten out or you can throw it straight. It's very dependable. It likes to go straight. It likes to go at your target. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so the Vibram Summit putt approach got me there, and it'll put me on in too. Okay, number five here at Burke Lake. You can see the basket is right over here, but you see this white arrow right here? That's mandatory. That means it's mandatory that you go on that side of the tree, which means a little bit of a dog leg left. Now, I think I can make that happen with the Champion T-Bird. Okay, so the Champion T-Bird, I think, will get me around that dog leg. Let's see. Not too shabby. Well, I'm about 15 feet away, but let me say a word about discs and losing them. 
the course is very leafy today. It actually just took me five minutes to find that disc that I threw. It was hidden under some leaves. So it's good to have bright colored discs. Not really orange and brown this time of year. I just threw an orange one. But, you know, sometimes you got to throw what you've got. But if you have to choose, why not get a purple or a hot pink that really stands out, one that you can really find. Live from Summit, what approach. So here we are at number six, about 180 feet straight ahead. Kind of a crucial tree in the way there. And let me think about how we're going to get around it. The destroyer. For this throw right here, I'm going to go with my regular two finger grip. That's what it looks like. And a little bit of Anheuser. Nice. So there you go, the destroyer. Like I've said in another one of my videos, everyone should have one in their bag. It's really, really good and you can make it do anything. Check out that video for more info on it, but I'm pretty close here, eight feet, and I'm just gonna put it in with my driver here. Number seven here is about 247 feet straight ahead, and obviously there are some trees in the way. So you've got some distance to cover, and you've got some trees to dodge. So, all right, gotta cover some distance here. Let's try the destroyer. So wrapping up number seven here at Burke Lake Park, the driver, destroyer, great all around disc, nice distance, but we were still a ways away, and I did a flick putt with the Vibram lace. Good control on this Vibram lace, tends actually to curve a bit to the right like most discs, but again, if you give it just a slight bit of Anheuser, it can throw very straight and far for you. Get a feel for each one of your discs and you'll be able to control them and get them to do whatever you like. Even make 50, 60 foot putts. Okay, so number eight is kind of tricky. 219 feet only, but you do have some trees to get through and around. Now you could go through this way, but I'm gonna go ahead and go around this way because I think my shot's gonna fade off to the right here and hopefully end up quite close to the basket. Now, let's see if I can get the Vibram Lace to do what I want it to do here. Should be good. Okay, so number nine here is difficult. 332 feet behind these trees. And not only is it a long way, but it's uphill too, so it's a particular challenge. Witness. Number 10 here at Burke Lake Park. Tricky. Why? It's only 217 feet. Well, because it's all downhill and then it slopes off this way. So you can really get into trouble if your disc rolls or if it just goes too far. And you can get into those trees and then you don't have a really easy approach shot or birdie shot. So you have to take care. So I'll try the Dynamic Discs Lucid Witness. It tends to turn right on me, but I'm gonna throw it out to the left. I'm basically gonna look at that tall tree right here and throw it towards that because I know it's going to curve to the right. Nice. So the witness actually did pretty good. Now you'll notice I under threw it a little bit and that's because there was so much danger if you went past the basket. You could just keep going down the hill. So sometimes it's good to be conservative. Plus I like to putt downhill more than I like to put uphill. So play each one for you and your style and what you favor. All right, Vibram Summit Putter. Okay, number 11, about 300 feet and downhill. 
So that gives you a lot of options, but as you see, there's trees that are blocking the basket, so you have to be careful, and you have to go the distance too. Destroyer. Okay, the Destroyer. Nice drive there, and that's why I say everyone should have one in their bag. Check out my video elsewhere on YouTube just on the Destroyer. But the putt, now 20, 25 feet. I'm going to put it in with the 86. Okay, number 12, 254 feet. And lots and lots of trees, plus uphill. So, it's tough. So, what will we use to get there? How about a roller? Well, I'd like to be a little closer, but the Crank SS had a pretty good roller, and we're about 40-ish feet away, outside the circle, which means you can jump putt if you like. Okay, here we are, number 13, and it's only 195 feet, but it's an extreme dog leg to the right. That's no problem for the flick, though. Valkyrie. Okay, the Valkyrie did a nice job within 10 feet here. Okay, so the Valkyrie thrown with some Super hyzer to get it to turn right, and then a simple putt in with the 86 putter. On to the next one. Okay, 267 feet, but that's not the problem. It's downhill, but there's a lot of trees in the way. And you start from this tee pad right here. So not easy, but we'll make it happen. The cheetah. Well, I kind of got lucky here that the cheetah made it through all these trees but it did and I'm about 30 feet away from the basket okay number 15 Burke Lake Park 325 feet uphill and hidden by trees not easy but we'll get there eventually I'm sure maybe I can roll the crank SS up there I think the cheetah can get me through there. Okay, so as you can see, the cheetah is very good at getting me through the trees today. I'm going to go ahead and put it in with the 86, about 15, 20 feet. Okay, there you go, number 15, very tough, uphill and quite far and very treed, but Started with the roller with the Crank SS. Then the Cheetah snuck us through the trees like it did on the last one too. The Cheetah, nice disc by Anova, straight, and then it kind of tapers off to the right, but more importantly, very good for beginners. Pretty easy to control. And finally, the 86 putter. Okay, number 16, 238 feet away, but not that easy because you've got a Mando right here, which means you have to throw on this side of the tree. Mando Calrissian. Haha. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, so a lot of people that throw backhand, they might want to go on this side of the tree, but you can't. You got to go this way. So it's a straight, far shot, starting from the tee, which is right here. Nice distance out of the Starlight Boss. But nonetheless, a tricky putt through some traffic, trees namely, about, eh, about 40 feet I'd say. So wrapping up number 16 there, nice drive with the Starlight Boss, got us there, well close anyway, and then the 86 putter, got a little bit of tree love and into the basket. Now remember. The Starlight Boss is a disc that will hyzer flip. What is a hyzer flip? Well, I have another video on it, but real quickly, 
hyzer flip is you throw with hyzer, it straightens out, and then curves to the right a little bit at the end. And that's exactly what the Starlight Boss did there. Got us through the rough areas and very close to the basket, which enabled a birdie. Starlight Boss, great disc. Okay, number 17, 250 feet away, and downhill. It's tough though, you got a fairway you gotta stay in. So maybe a hyzer flip would be good here. Not sure what I'm gonna do. The cheetah. Nice. Okay, the cheetah. Nice straight shooter. And about 20 feet from the basket. Nice. Number 18, 275 feet, but uphill and lots of trees straight down the middle of the fairway. Hmm, what will we use? Okay, nice drive with the Starlight Boss. I really like this disc. Throws very well and it's a staple of my bag. Heiser flips beautifully and gets you there. So, we're about 60 feet from the basket, but it's doable. Okay, so number 18. Nice drive with the Starlight Boss. And cool putt with the Leopard. Now you don't want to throw a leopard this time of year that looks like this. It's really hard to find, but the leopard is a really good disc. Like I say, it tends to go in curve left, which is the opposite way of most flick discs. So that means if you flick it like this, it actually does tend to curve this way. So that's a good thing. Dog leg lefts, and if you use it right, you can throw it very straight. But it's the opposite thing if you're a backhand player it will tend to curve to the right for you, which is good too. But in this case, I putted it with some hyzer and it made the right curve, went right in the basket. All right, so there you go, Burke Lake Park. Beautiful 18-hole course and lots to learn from it. Now, that being said, you're not gonna go out here and shoot birdies all day. Of course, when you're shooting a video, you can do multiple takes and I take multiple shots many times because I want to show different angles and different techniques and different discs. Some shots actually were not as good as some of the others I threw, but I threw the one that eh, didn't go as well because I wanted to show you what I would do in that situation. And also, I like to show different discs doing different things. It's a very difficult and complicated game, just like ball golf, because any way that you move your hand, your arm, your fingers, anything, it can make the disc do different things. But these discs are designed to do certain things. So you have to use them the way they were designed and use them for your game and your throwing style in particular. In general, if you're flicking and you want it to throw straight, well, you release it straight and you throw with a lot of flick in your wrist. So that's one way. If you want it to curve left, or maybe even go straight, you put just a little bit of Anheuser on it. If you want it to curve right, throw it like this. So there you go. Those are all the different ways that you throw the disc. Burke Lake Park, very intricate, very complicated course. It's a fun and challenging sport. It's great for everyone because you can always get better and improve your game. And you can watch all my videos to help improve your game as well. And don't forget to subscribe to me on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Ivan Katz.